Hi, I'm Kane DeGusto. I'm the underneath mechanic on the 17 at Roush Fenway Racing. I will take care of all the uh, suspension, spring shocks and stuff, basically firewall back underneath is my responsibility. Anything like hubs, track, track bars, stuff like that. Any changes during practice and favorite part of underneath mechanic? I don't know, I've always been kind of like a just get after it guy, you know, or whatever. And that's, that's the main part of that. You know, that's probably 80 to 90% of your changes for, you know, is done under there. So you're just kind of steady digging. I, and I like being busy like that, you know. Played football in high school, got done with that. Probably around my 11th grade, senior year, whatever. Really started getting into drag racing, which was big. I'm from Garland, Texas, and drag racing was pretty big there. The guy had a shop, got to go work for him for a while. Worked at Super Shops in Dallas, which most people won't even know what that is anymore, but that was like a performance auto parts store back in the day. Um, this is in the 90s. Did that, did Trans Am series after that with a guy in Dallas. And then that got me on a Trans Am team that was in Asheville. And then when I was in Asheville, a couple guys that were there, you know, said, hey, you, you're good enough, you could probably do it in Charlotte, you know, and moved to North Carolina and uh, did some small team stuff from in like early 2000s. And then I got the job here in 2005 and been here ever since. One with Carl and David Reagan and Tre even you know Trevor and, and those guys, but I would say probably winning the first championship with Ricky as his mechanic. I always remember the going out after the race was over, walking out to the stage, doing the whole big deal, you know, and that's always was pretty cool. <clears throat> I think that's the proudest I've ever been. Just you know, that's a hard accomplishment. It really is. You know, people can say what they want, but. And then you know, back it up. We did it the next year too. That was pretty. That was pretty neat too. But that first, that first night, you know, just doing it and getting it done, and that was pretty cool. You know, I won at a bunch of them. You know, Bristol and Atlanta and in uh, Talladega, Daytona. You know, and no, I don't get old. Our favorite holler snack. Uh, probably peanut butter cups or something. Yeah. I don't, believe it or not, I don't snack that much. I do now because I'm home a lot, but. <laughs> oh, Darlington. Yeah, oh yeah. Darlington's the best. It's twice as good as anywhere else. You, you have to race there, you have to drive. If you don't, you'll just flop around. Um, when you crash, you crash good. When, you, when you're fast, you're really fast. I mean, guys will wreck there going down the straightaway. You, you know, you just. And you kind of, you know, it, it, the place is like walking back in time a little bit, and, and I like that part of it, you know. That was my whole thing for even NASCAR. I just always, I always liked the history side of it and stuff like that, you know. And uh, yeah, if you're gonna be, if you're good, that's where you're gonna be good at. It's kept me here. I, man, the people, and then everything, you know, Jack takes care of you. He's very USA, he's very American worker. Um, he, looks out for his guys, you know? He puts people in place that looks out for his guys. Um, he don't mess around either, you know, you, you're gonna be right. But you know, honestly, winning is expected. If you get to do a little celebration afterwards, great. If not, you get ready for the next race, you know? And that's kinda, that's the attitude I've kinda always had towards it. I've never, I've seen a lot of people work here and leave and then come back. And I've never seen that anyone say, oh, I worked over here and I left and I tried to go back, you know? Like everyone tries to come back, you know? And then I make fun of them. <laughs> what you would tell someone trying to get in, you know, it was, it was tough at first. Um, I was just about to give up and I was like, all right, I'm just gonna go back to Texas. You know, I'm, I'm just not making it. I'm out of money and it's just not happening, you know? And then I met my wife, well, you know, at the time, girlfriend, of course, and, uh, so that helped me stay, <laughs> of course. And just, she's always kind of had my back towards it, you know, and she likes it too. But, uh, so she kind of always ran the house while I was gone and and, and always stood by, took mommy uh, to live the dream, as they say, you, you know what I mean? And uh, so it's fun to kind of share it with her.